sorry about that. Um, we went outside and just saw this huge cloud of smoke and me being the nosy person I am, I told my husband to grab his stuff. We got in the truck and we were going to go see what had happened. And we were driving to the other side of town. We were following the cloud and you can just feel the the intense there was just a burn in my throat and in my esophagus and I knew it was chemical and I told my husband I have a feeling that it has something to do with the fertilizing plant because of the smell and everything in the air we got to the other side of town which only takes literally a minute or two and the further we got down the worse the damage was there was homes that windows blown out um one of our dance halls was demolished and it just looked like a bomb had gone off we went down to the nursing home which i actually worked in for several years prior and my husband jumped out of the truck and ran into the nursing home to start helping him pull those people out. And I had to get some tennis shoes because I was in my house shoes. Because, like, we were just going to see what had happened. We weren't prepared for what we came upon. Once I got some shoes, I ran in the nursing home to start help assisting to get these people out of there. I walked in, the ceilings completely gone, collapsed. There was just, it was just complete disarray. Light fixtures hanging down, live wires, pipes busted, flooding the nursing home, um, insulation everywhere. I mean, you could not walk through there. Boards with nails sticking up, glass, it was bad. It was not the same nursing home that I worked in a few years ago. My husband and another man assisted on getting, you know, several people, it was like nine or more people out of that nursing home safely. I assisted with getting people out of the nursing home, uh, one of which was somebody I actually used to take care of when I was a CNA. Um, as we got everybody out, I ran to go check to make sure nobody was in the kitchen because I did work dietary at one time and came upon a girl laying on the floor. A nurse was trying to help her. She couldn't move. But the awning that she was under was like a carport, was fixing it, just cave. And it was on its last, so we I knew we had to get her out of there. She couldn't, or she would have been crushed. So me and this nurse got her out of there. Um, I was able to find my husband. I was really scared with all the water and live electricity wires everywhere. It was only a matter of time before somebody was going to get electrocuted. The gas lines were leaking. It's just, it was, it's just complete disarray. You would think the bomb went off inside the nursing home. But it, it was all from this blast. The apartment complex behind the nursing home is completely destroyed. Um, I do have a family member that that lives there and we cannot find him right now right now nobody knows where he's at um after we got everybody out of the nursing home we were helping to transport we went searching for water for people um Till about one o'clock in the morning my husband myself and my two brothers were getting water from local retail stores and delivering them to the football field and the community center for people to have water for people to you know that needed drinks and needed the water to clean them up my husband stayed at the football field where he was assisting on getting people separated as to who needed immediate attention or who were okay and just needed, you know, a band-aid or two. Um, it just looked like a war had broke out 
down on the other side of town. So we, it was probably almost two o'clock in the morning when we we ended up coming home. We were told to we needed to evacuate. We came home and got what we could, and we left and went and stayed with some family members that live in a town that's about nine, not even nine miles away. Um, a lot of people do not have electricity. They do not have gas. They do not have anything because of safety reasons. They've had to shut off all those resources. Nobody is permitted unless you're rescue crew. No one's allowed to go on the other side of town. Um, people can't return to their homes that did not have as much damage. People are missing. It's just complete and utter chaos. And I'm making this video to let y'all know that I will be on Facebook or MySpace or YouTube. Excuse me, I'm getting so confused. I'm, I haven't slept uh, on YouTube to check for my messages. Um, mail is not running. I will not be making videos on any swaps that I've received. Uh, Melissa, I, I will get yours up as soon as I can. Um... The post office is not operating today. They don't know when. Um, right now, my focus is on helping my town, my friends, and my family members get their life back in order. For us all to get our life back in order. Because this was something we never imagined in a million years could happen. Never. So, I just wanted to keep all my subbies updated on what's going on right now. Um, and if you don't hear from me, why you haven't heard from me, I will keep y'all posted. Um, as soon as we can get on the other side of town, um, I will show y'all the destruction, the damage. I'm sure y'all can see a lot of it on the news. But to actually sit in there and be walking in it is a whole completely different thing. Um, right now we're just needing, we're in an urgency to locate the one family member that we have missing and to make sure that everybody in our town is safe. Um, we are already a pretty close community and in times of need we help. So, I hope everybody has a blessed day. Do not take things for granted. Uh, my husband has a YouTube channel and he posted pictures of everything, of what we had. I will link his video down below once he gets it uploaded for y'all to see. He's got more pictures. He was actually um, taking a lot of pictures last night after everything kind of mellowed. I mean, it hasn't even really mellowed. But have a blessed day, and I'm. Please keep me in your prayers. Keep my family in your prayers, and I will keep y'all updated. And thank you for all the support and for supporting my channel.